In this video, I'll tell you about how to develop an Android application for BeagleBone Black using ADC as the input. So for this demonstration, I'll be using the setup that I used in previous video. So I'll use the slider potentiometer available on the bacon cape as the analog input that is connected to the 36th pin of P9 header. There are total 7 analog inputs available on BeagleBone Black. Our potentiometer is attached with the 36th pin of P9 header that is analog input 5. Let's proceed towards the steps of creating the Android project. So first of all create a new Android project in Eclipse. So I have already created a project that is ADC. So this is the project. Next step is to copy and paste GNI folder from BBB Android Heart to your app directly. So let's do that. Now next step is to change the android.mk and application.mk file. So we have this file available with us so we will replace this file. Next step is to change the java underscore class underscore path macro in jni underscore wrapper dot c. So let's do that. So this is the macro and we have to change this path. So let's see what is the path that we want to include here. So if we move in our project directory, so we have this com.bbbandroid.adc. In this we have main activity.jar. So let's change this path. Now next step is to call ndk build from the current directory so let's do that. So you can see that libbbbandroid.hull.so is generated. This is the library file that we want to link in our android project. So before moving uh, forward let me show you how to minimize this file so uh, if we want to only use the adc.c functionality of the beaglebone and we do not want to use any other i2c gpio pwm or any other functionality so uh, and we do not want to generate the library file for whole so we can minimize that so let's do that so we only want to have adc.c for that we will have the header file of bbb android hull and we want to have the jni wrapper also we want to have the configuration file android.mk and application.mk other than that we will delete so let's do that now we may want to uh, modify these files a little bit so let's do that so first of all we will modify android.mk so we will remove all the extra files that we have we do not have currently in our directory so let's remove them Now let's change JNI underscore wrapper. So all the wrappers that are not available. So we do not have currently GPIO.c. So we will remove that and PWM also. We will keep ADC and we will remove all other wrappers. So just remove this. So currently we have only ADC wrapper with us. So this is the JNI wrapper that will utilize the ADC.c. Now we want to change BBB Android Hull. So let's remove the extra things from here. So now our files are minimized. Let's build this file. 
so just call ndk build from the current directory so libbbb android hall is now created so for using the android uh, for using the potentiometer in our application <coughs> first of all we have to overlay we have to change the mux of that pin so for that we have to overlay a device tree overlay so let's do that so <coughs> so i have <coughs> this device tree overlay available with me let's compile this overlay so for that we can just call build.sh or we can also call a command that is defined in this so just copy this command and paste this so you will see that a dtbo file is generated this is the file that we want so now let's push this overlay to the beagle one so adb push keep dtbo system vendor from where now now let's overlay this device to overlay so keep bone sys devices bone keep manager 9 slots so we have successfully overlaid this if you want to check then let me show you so you can see that here cape bb bone i uh, bone iio is present here so what is this actually let's see what is present in this file so so you can see that this file contains the mux configuration to enable all the analog pins so we will be using the 36 pin that is analog input file so this is suitable for us for the demonstration so now we have to give permission for the file access so that our application can access the file so let's do that so first of all we have to move in the path where these files are present we can see that in so let's see where are the files for ADC so this is the path where from where we can access the ADC so let me explain you this ADC.c so what it does is it opens the file input uh, in voltage uh, that is uh, channel uh, 1 2 3 4 5 uh, up to 6 ours is 5 and then it will fetch the value available at that channel and it will return the value so this returns the raw voltage values in millivolts so let's see how it returns so here you can see that there are seven channels available we are interested in the in voltage 5 raw that is our device which is attached to this so let's see what is happening so let's just see what is the value available and how it is changing so let me show uh, you in the video how i am changing the potentiometer and these values are changing so let's see so here is my setup as you can see i will be changing the potentiometer and according to that input will be uh, the value will be changing so i am pushing the potentiometer forward and you can see that value has changed if i put it at extreme then it will be around 4088 409 5 volt around and then if i decrease it a little bit then it will also decrease if i put it at minimum then it will be minimum 
so you can see that we can access the ADC so uh, so now let's provide its for uh, proper permissions so that we can access it in our application so so we have proper uh, provided proper permission now we can access it in our controller uh, in our uh, project so let's do that so let's run as android application so let me show you the design uh, uh, that i have made for this application so so display will be like this so there is a button that is pole slider state and the button state that is slider state will be displayed here so the uh, voltage in millivolts will be displayed here so so let me show you the output so this is the output of the uh, so you can see that currently slider state is 5 now I will slowly move the slider state downwards so you can now if I click on the pole slider state then you can see that value of slider state has changed so again if I move further to the extreme then it has changed again so this was the android application that was using the ADC and BBB android HAL let me show you the code so in this code you can see that there is a native prototype uh, prototype function for native call that is read ADC we have included the library when button is clicked then uh, read ADC is called and value is returned this read ADC actually calls the JNI wrapper so let me show you so this function actually calls this function so read.adc this function is called and this function in turn is calling the read adc of adc.c so this is calling the native c function so you can see it here so this is the native c function and it is accessing the value from the path that we access from the shell so this is the whole logic behind the this application thank you